Hello, I'm a super judge, and I'm so blessed hey, to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, today is Friday, praise God. Now, now, listen, listen, oh Lord Jesus. Now, you better go start listening to this message from last week, Monday, and up into this week. Now, because this is just the most important thing. I don't know what else you can give yourself to this year. If you want to see color in your life, there's nothing else but spending time with this one we're talking about. And let him begin to help you navigate every other thing. Let him help you navigate your job. Let him help you navigate your business. Let him help you navigate every your ministry. I come on supra iakta. Oh, blessed Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for what an honor. What an honor you have given to us. No wonder John said, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. You don't know what that thing is. You don't know what that title is. Sons of God. Sons of God. Brothers and sisters, sons of God are gods. See that now? It means every everything the Father has, He has given to us. That's why it was not a problem for Him to give us the Holy Spirit. Ah. You know, we've got to call for that daily bread. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Join me right now in faith and say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name. Amen. There is a new work the Spirit of God is doing in your life and in everything that you're involved with. You see, sometimes we, we get so stiff or hooked up in our ways. We prevent Him from bringing color to our lives. But He is there to bring out beauty. He is there to bring out excellence in our lives. Oh, Pastor, that's why you don't understand. My life is so dark. It's so, it's so messed up. Hey. The Bible says God called light out of darkness. The same God that called light out of darkness, He Himself is shining in our hearts. How is he shining in our hearts? The Holy Spirit. He is the one that we're talking about. So don't tell me your life is so darkened, your life is so messed up that he cannot bring out any beautiful. The whole earth was in a mess. Darkness was on the face of the whole deep. Now this thing you see when you enter an aeroplane and get up there and look down, you see all that beauty you see, nation after nation. Well, you, you don't even have to fly an helicopter. Download some apps on your phone, like Google Earth. No, it's not, not, not so clear like saying it physically. But you will see all the contours of, of the, you see the whole structure. He said, "Wow! I was I was helping. Uh, I was helping my my daughter do her homework, and so we, because I used the same opportunity to widen her scope, and and so we were we were talking about I think it was geography or, or something or history we we're, were working on, and I told her, let me show you." how this place, how this thing is. And then we got to the nation of 
Denmark, you know, the Scandinavian nation, they're teaching about the Scandinavian nations. So I said, let me show you on the map where there's three main countries that make up the Scandinavian, uh, Nivian, old Scandinavian uh, people. And so we got to the map and, and we, we looked at Denmark. And then I realized that this place just little, little cities and massive farmlands. And I was showing, I said, these are all farmlands and, and they are being cultivated. Look at how the, the, the structure, they are all cultivated. And she said, they have lots and lots of farmland. I said, yes. Because they export their food. I thought about it. I said, whoa. Whoa. What beauty. You know, looking at it, I'm like, I'm, you know, we're looking at it from the sky now. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. And then to think of the one who made all these things. And you tell me that your life cannot be beautiful? Come on now, stop it. Stop it. Submit yourself to him. You can do that right now. I mean, you can do that right now. It's not about the mistakes you have made. What about just saying to him, Lord, okay, I've messed up everything, so I, I, I want to hand it over to you. And bring out the beauty of this thing. You are watching me right now. You haven't given your life to Jesus yet. I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what you're trying to achieve. Without him, everything you achieve will come down to zero. Oh, there are, there are rich people who don't know Jesus. Relax. Wait for their end. Oh, oh, oh. You would say, yeah, that's what we keep here. Wait for their end. Ah, wait for their end. But instead of waiting to see what their end will become, why don't you start your own work that is right? Today that you're hearing his voice. He told us in Hebrews, if you will hear his voice today, don't harden your heart. You have tried. It didn't work. Why don't you submit yourself to him and let him help you? He said, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Why don't you let him? Why don't you make yourself willing today and just say to him, Lord, I've been trying by myself, but today I stopped trying. And I want to willingly submit my heart to you. Take my heart. Take my life. And make it what you seem, what you think is good and right. And then allow him to begin to direct you. Allow him to begin to lead you. Allow him to begin to organize your path. And you will see the beauty that will come out of your life. I'm going to pray with you at the end of this broadcast. But let's, let's finish this up right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Now we are in Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 33. It says, Hear instruction and be wise. And do not disdain it. I just give you an instruction. Don't disdain it. Doesn't matter what you think, don't disdain it. Hear instruction and be wise, and do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my door. Hallelujah. Blessed is the one you wake up every day and say, Lord, I think I, I want to hear what you will tell me to do today. That's all I want. Tell me what you want me to do today. Watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my door. For whoever finds me, 
finds life. If you find the Holy Spirit, if you find Him, I say some people have not found Him. They use His power. They have found His power. But they have not found Him. They have cried, help me to do ministry. And He did. He supplied them the power. But they have not found Him. Listen, He is a person. He is a person. When we know Him, we learn His ways. We don't just use Him. We learn His ways. And soon we start becoming like Him. That's how you know you are learning His ways. It's the becoming like Him. Let people not know you as a great man of God. Let them know you as one with the character of the Holy Spirit. That only happens when you watch. It says, you wait daily at his door. So you don't have words anymore. Your words are his words. So you wait for him to speak to you. Every day. Can I hear God every day? Yes, you can. Oh, you can. He's committed to speaking to you every day. He says, man shall live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. If that is true, then he's committed to give you life every moment, every minute, every second he's speaking. If you incline your ears, you will hear. Mm. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord himself. So if you love the Holy Spirit, the Lord will love you. Jesus said, if any man loves me, he will keep my words. And my father, see that now? You see that now? I come at her, see her. Anyone who loves me will keep my words. See, now the Holy Spirit is not about shaking. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I know? That I'm in fellowship with him. He gives me words. And when I receive those words, I keep them. They become precious to me. I adjust my being. I adjust my character to keep his word. He tells me, so I want you to do this. You know, now naturally, I say, ah, I can't do it. No, 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 no. If he told me to do it, then I can do it. I'll, I'll wake up to do it. I'll stand up to do it. I'll rise to the occasion. And that's how we live. What are you doing? You're keeping his word. He said, my father will love you. And we will come and make our abode. And that's why he says, whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me, oh, you can see against him and you know what jesus said anyone who sins against this guy anyone who sins against the holy spirit he said he would never be forgiven look at what it says but he who sins against me wrongs his own soul all those who hate me love death it's as simple as that you don't love the holy spirit then you love death Because the, the opposite of the Holy Spirit is death. Allow me to say it that way. If you are not having a functional walk with the Holy Spirit, then you are having fellowship with death. It's as simple as that. You know, sometimes you're trying to talk to someone and say, leave all this Holy Spirit in. Aha! Uh -huh. I want to embrace death. That's what they are saying. That shouldn't be you. Why would you love death? Why would you love death when life is available and has been given to you? It says, I am come that they may have life and they may have it in abundance. How do we get life? It says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. Every time. Now he says, blesses the one who, who watch, uh, watches at my doorpost every day. That's what he says. Blesses the one who watches. Blesses the one who waits. Who waits daily at my gates. Waiting for what? For words. Why? Because those words are life. 
Jesus, one time Jesus preached. And the Bible said many of his disciples stopped following him from that day. And he turned to the twelve. He said, will you also go away? And Peter says, to where? To whom shall we go? Thou has the words of life. Oh, Peter had come to that place of understanding. That he knew, look, if I must leave, I must hear Jesus. I come on there, he came there. Ah, Calabasa. Do you know? Do you know it's the same thing with us? If I must leave, I must hear Jesus. If I must leave, I must hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. I don't know how you take things like this lightly in your life. You are comfortable and you don't hear the voice of God. Come on. Why would you be joking with your life? His words are life. Where would you get life from apart from him? He speaks all the time. There is no other way. If you are not receiving his voice, you are walking with death. It's as simple as that. So why don't you open your heart today? Why don't you cry out to him today? Why don't you desire his voice like your life depends on it? For truly, your life depends on it. Hearing his voice. To know him is to hear his voice. But beyond hearing his voice, to learning his ways. Now, it begins from hearing his Because if you don't hear his voice, you can't learn his ways. How can you, how can you learn of someone you don't hear from? But don't stop at hearing his voice. Understand his voice. And from his voice, learn his ways. Learn his character. And notice this is what he always tells me in this situation. So I, I, I assume that position. And notice anytime I'm crying, he would, the first thing he would tell me is stop crying. Every time I'm crying, the first thing the world is to stop crying. So now something about I feel like crying, but I know he would tell me to stop crying. So why should I cry? Okay. I'm not going to cry. Okay, Lord, today I'm not crying. Let's talk. Yeah, you're learning his ways. I receive money. He says, send your tithe. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, every time he's always telling me to send my tithe. So, oh, that means tithe is important to him. Okay, so now, I'll start tithing diligently. Everything I want to do, I take it before him. Because I know, he told us in Hebrews, he that believes, anyone, he says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. For anyone that comes to him must first believe that he is and is a reward of those who diligently seek him. Have you sought him diligently? Or you just tried one day, Lord, speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. And you feel you didn't hear anything and then you give up. Nah, diligently seek him. I told you I was going to pray for you. If you want to give your heart to Jesus Christ today, maybe you have never done it and you're watching me. Maybe you have done it, but you, you, you just didn't take it seriously. Today, a change has come. Join me right now and say, Lord Jesus, I completely submit myself to you just as I am. Give me your spirit, Lord, that I may live. That's the only place that life exists. I want to live. Give me life. Give me your spirit. I declare from this day, Lord, I know no other one but you as Lord. Fill my heart right now, Lord. Don't wait next minute, Lord. Fill my heart right now with your truth that I may live. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray the hand of the Lord rest upon you. And may the Holy Spirit fill you right now. And bring you to the place of sonship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Now, if you pray this prayer with me, especially this one, I want to hear from you. Send me a message. Send me a message on any social media platform, on Facebook, on, on, on our numbers on the screen. You can send a text message, send a WhatsApp message. We just want to hear from you so we can keep fellowship with you and help you grow in the things of the Spirit. God bless you. Have the best weekend ever. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.